Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I collect cute things, I make cute things. I sell cute things on my cute little shop, which is shut at the moment because Royal Mail are really messing me around so bad and I will talk to you about that on another studio vlog. If you've been wondering where I've been um, for the past like month or two, um, I've just been over on TikTok basically, creating a way. So definitely check me out on that. I'll leave my link and everything like that down in the description. But this DIY is something that I have seen on TikTok for the past month and it definitely is like gave me a big throwback to my childhood. Absolutely love it. So this here was basically created little bubbles. <laughs> And I had everything that I needed to make these today, um, which was basically just some of this special little kind of sticky tape here. I had this leftover from sticking stuff up from Christmas, so I thought I'm going to give it a little while. It was such a nostalgic hit for me because we used to have this thing in the 90s, which was like um, this little like glue stuff. I think you can still buy it. I've seen it recently, I'm sure. But you put it on a straw and you blow it and you end up with like these little bubbles, like balloon things that just like stay. And that's basically this DIY today. So I tested it out, really, really pleased with it. Got some tips in here in case you want to do it. So enjoy the video and I'll catch you at the end. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need some nano tape. Sometimes it's called uh, mounting tape and that sort of stuff. This one here is just by a brand called Strong As An Ox. I think it's just the dupe of the Gorilla Glue, but it's a lot, lot cheaper. But Gorilla Glue do do their own brand of this, but it's around about eight pounds. This one here I find in like DIY stores around one to two pounds, so really really cheap. What you're going to want to do is just pull off a bit like so. This is really 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 sticky, and you're going to want to take a straw. I'm just using a paper straw and because we're using some heat. I would recommend not using a plastic one for this. You can use obviously a metal straw, um, a glass straw might work if you have reusable ones, but paper is probably going to be your best bet. So you want to fold it over like so, and then we're just going to cut off like that. And we're just pinching together kind of like the outer edges, only the outer edges, by the way. So just pinching together down the sides as well, right up to that straw to create the little air pocket. Okay, it's still a little air pocket in there, which is nice enough. And then what you want to do is just round out the kind of edges. And this will make it more into like a rounded bubble shape. Round off that corner there too. Now before you start blowing this up, there is something to, you know, pay attention to. This is a double sided sticky surface. So there will be a thin plastic film on there. As you can see, I'm going to sort of peel that off. And this will become really, really super sticky, which is why we press it down before. So next so that it's easier to blow up, we do want to heat this. So I'm gonna use a heat gun. You can use like a hairdryer, something like that. Just wanna heat it slightly so that when you blow through the straw, it will kind of flex out a lot easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I'll do it in real time so you can see how long I take, but I'll give you some music a second. not long at all and whilst that's still hot we want to just blow through the straw so I'll just blow through the straw I have an air pocket one moment there it is just on the straw Okay, so as you see, when it's in my mouth, I sort of have to twist it, right? And then just pull it off the straw and you end up with like this bubble basically. Now you can decorate this however you want. Getting it off the straw is a little bit tricky. It might take you one or two times, you know, but once you're left with your bubble, you're pretty much good to go. Where you have like that little bit where you cut off the excess, you will have a little bit like left over that doesn't stretch out. So as you can see, that's still there. So when you're making your bubble, you do want to make sure that that bit is cut back before blowing it, but it is a little bit tricky. So you will always have this like dodgy little seam on the side, but yeah, look, there is your bubble. Amazing, huh? Now, obviously you could put whatever face you want on this. You can obviously fill it with glitter. I've seen a few people do that, um, but just do that before folding it over. I find that a little bit tricky. I haven't quite mastered that yet, but the kind of trick to it is putting it in and not letting the glitter actually touch the straw and then you're basically good to go in the exact same way. So yeah, look at that. 
little bubble <laughs> with a little face on. I love it. It's so cute. I mean, there's, there's, I don't know, there's something about this. <laughs> Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> I love his little face on there as well. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Look at it. <laughs> so cute. Obviously, the less you kind of have on the back is the better. This is the bit that obviously was on the side where I didn't cut like quite as much excess off as I would have liked. So yeah, definitely be sure to cut off the excess when like doing that curve and making sure there isn't loads on there because you will end up with that. But yeah, that's the bubble. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know if you're gonna be doing this yourself, having a little test out. I absolutely loved it. It just gave me such a nostalgic hit. And I'm so happy that I've done that today because it just like put me in such a good mood. Like I can't even explain it. I did do probably about five, maybe six of these and I ended up popping loads of them and it was a bunch of fun. So I'll leave a little bit of footage right now of that because I did film some for like TikTok and stuff as well. So definitely just like stay tuned a second. Like the noises of them, oh, I love it. So yeah, I did leave my pop. I left a few on the side to see what would happen and I got a little bit of footage of that. Definitely worth giving them a little pop rather than seeing them just deflate. But anyway, I did both. <laughs> this little baby here, I left him alone for like 20 minutes and he's like proper deflated. So I'd recommend just like having fun with your little guy and then just popping him or else you're gonna end up with a little melted baby like this one. <laughs> Oh, look at him. So cute. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'm so happy to be here, like, just filming and just having a bunch of fun. Like I said, I am over on TikTok at the moment quite a bit, so definitely come and tune in over there. Come and find me. I'd love to have you. I've been getting so many lovely comments and messages over there, and, yeah, I just feel so happy. I am doing a bit of a project at the moment with some clay pieces. I'm really, really happy with how that's going so far, and I've just updated my progress over there. I'm also in the middle of making a little gumball machine out of the clay it's turned out so so well i just need to coat it and the video might be coming to youtube um might be coming just a tiktok i don't know depends on how i edit it down and that sort of stuff but i would love for you to check that out as well oh my goodness choking on my hair that's gross <laughs> I get so excited when I film videos. I'm like <gasps> breathing in and <laughs> like, sucking it all my hair as well. But yeah, thank you so, so much for tuning in today. If you could leave this video a like, that'd be great. Um, I highly appreciate it, you know, given the fact that, you know, I haven't been here for a while. But yeah, thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you again very soon for another one. Bye.